Okay, so I just got uh, this cutoff saw. It's about $250 on Amazon. It's a 15 amp electric cutoff saw, so we'll see how it does. Hopefully it cuts through granite, because that's what I'm gonna do today. All right, so since I want this piece to abut this piece nicely, I'm gonna have to make a cut, of course, coming across. But I would also like to bring it down enough that that corner of the edging matches with that corner of the step. So I have to mark the angle going across as well as the angle going down so that it abuts nicely to this edging and keeps the same pitch that it's at now. Since I don't have an angle marker on hand, I'm just gonna use some cardboard and see if I can template it out. All right, nice. That, uh, that cut through it like butter. I followed this top line, because this is gonna be the exposed one, and tried to pretty much just end up going 90 degrees down, but I did float a little bit off that, but that's fine, because that's actually, I want the bottom to butt out a bit more. But due to the nature of this edging here, where it's not a nice flat edge, the bottom, if it was perfectly aligned, it would butt out and not let the top touch, so. Having some space on the bottom would be fine. All right, as per GoPro standard, the camera keeps overheating, so I just put this back in as close as I could get it. Based on the angles and the tilts and everything, it's sort of tough to get it straight, but we don't quite match exact the corner, but we're off by about half an inch to an inch, which isn't too bad. It gives me a bit more length to play with back here to make another section. I have this end butted up as close as I can get it to the edging because it has the uneven edge. Um, but once I put some pressure on the back and then fill in this side, it'll push it in a bit nicer.
All right, so I've got the top piece in. The stair unfortunately butts out a bit on the side here, so I can't get it totally flush this way, but it's pretty flush and level across the top. Matches up to that piece pretty nicely, but unfortunately due to the angle and all the different oddities and just trying to pack the gravel right, I can't quite get this perfectly aligned with either the stair or that granite, so it's off a little bit, but it's honestly fine with me. Uh, things will shift over time and it'll go out of alignment anyways, but fits together pretty nicely here, and I'll be able to put some pavers down in here once I get them. I'll be using this saw a bunch more with all the pavers I get, but this was cutting through granite edging and like it took no time at all, didn't bog out, and cut right through with the default blade they gave me, so can't ask much more out of it. As long as it keeps running and I can do a lot more hours on it, I'll be really satisfied with this purchase.
right, so we got the base compacted, and then we put about an inch to an inch and a half of this 3 8 gravel on top of the 3 quarter gravel. This stuff's nice, it's a little chips basically, and it compacts nicely as well as uh, spreads nicely so you can get a nice level surface to put on the blocks. Unfortunately, we bought one yard, because you can only buy it in one yard increments from the places we go, and it filled out everything except for this spot and a little bit over here. So we have to now buy another entire yard. But so far we put down a few blocks here and it's looking good, pretty level, and you don't have to do too much fiddling like with stone dust or sand. And as you could see, we also put a bias in, so there's a little bit more on the back than the front, so you get a slope out of the patio. So on to placing more blocks. on that beat going crazy.
So for compacting all of this, we were using this uh, unit that my neighbor had and I was borrowing from him. And he didn't have any kind of plastic or urethane bottom for going over pavers. And I really didn't want to break any. So what I did was is I just took one of my, you know, work mats for boots and shoes and all that and put it so that the cloth type side was on the bottom and the rubber was underneath the actual tamper. And it worked pretty well. Uh, it doesn't scuff it, I haven't broken any blocks yet, knock on wood. And it's going right over everything just as expected. So I finally finished the patio here. It's taken a while, it's taken about a year. Um, originally it was partially dug out over there for the shed that was there and I just expanded it out over here. This past weekend to finish it off, we got all the stone in, compacted it, and put the pavers on top of that. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video at the end, this is a kit, this is a, from Cambridge and it's the Ledgestone Onyx, I believe. And the exterior is the Cambridge Onyx Natural, just six by six blocks. And what we ended up doing was just copying the pattern that was on the pallet that we got and offsetting it and repeating it through the whole patio so we would use all the blocks pretty evenly. And we actually only had about four or five leftover blocks from what I ordered, which was good. It ended up matching to the granite pretty decently. In the middle it dips a little bit. Um, not sure if it was the granite or the actual pavers that we put in, but either way I think it looks good enough for me. And we tried to make it as best as we could so that the back was higher than the front so we get water to shed off of the patio rather than pool up, but we'll see how it goes once it settles a bit more. 
overall I think it looks really good and it'll be pretty exciting to get some furniture on here and use it. But unfortunately, there's not much shade here. And for a project in the future, I was thinking maybe getting rid of this deck here, replacing it with similar patio stone, and uh, having it have a nice connection path all the way down to the front of this stair. So it'll be ultimately an extension of the patio and have granite steps going up to the door. I think that would look really nice and uh, definitely make the whole back a bit more contiguous and uh, of the same style.